Hey guys, this is Ao from Catalyst News. We got some pretty uh, breaking news here. Melanie got released at 12.01 uh, noon, basically. If you look at the bottom right, you can see right here she got released on some bond. And uh, Aaron, apparently apparently she shows up to Aaron's pad. Uh, Aaron had animal control at his place. It, it's been absolutely insane. So let's hear what Aaron had to say about Melanie showing up. This Jenna Shea threatened to kill me with her friends. I have proof of it, by the way. That was Melanie just now. With the cops saying she wanted to come pick up her dog. Yo, Melanie just, Melanie just came back with the cops, all of them. They go, oh, uh, she's just here to get her dog. And I said, uh, she was, the dog was taken to her, her mother and, um, and animal control just came here and they made me take pictures of Nala. And I said, what are you doing here? And I got in a fight with animal control people. And I was like, you're looking for a dog that is not here. I said, I said, animal control and PETA should be going after Melanie for breaking a dog's leg and not bringing it to fucking uh, animal hospital. All right. Instead of it being sent to animal control and then her losing the dog. She, did she not? She must not have called her. Yeah. So they, they were, they were pressing Aaron about, uh, Nala asking for Nala's papers, but he kind of flipped the story. I don't know exactly what the call was for. So it could be for both. Um, Aaron said it was more about Peanut and how Peanut's leg was broken or something, and that's how he kind of got around it. I I'm not exactly sure how he he got the the animal control officer to kind of back off. Kind of strange. Mom. So he mutes here. Um, let me see if I could go find this uh, Peta. That I'm control. trying to move past that. So I would appreciate that. Uh, the thing is, I don't want to keep bugging you. No, 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 I know. I, um, I have animal control here um, that I'm doing live streaming right now. And I have animal control um, trying to come in here and say that I'm abusing my dog. She saw my dog and she's like, so you guys need to get over here because this is ridiculous. I don't deserve to be harassed. All right, sir. I mean, you usually need to co cooperate with animal control. There, there are a form of law enforcement as well. So this is when he, he calls the police officer. So I'm kind of doing this out of order, but... He calls 911 and says, why are, like, animal control here? And then the officer says, well, they're, like, with the police department, too, so you need to cooperate with whatever they want. Okay, well, I did cooperate with her. I said I don't have the paperwork right now on her. It's somewhere in my files, and I'm not digging through that because I'm working at home. It's likely just about Peanut. Maybe explain she is with Melanie's mom. It's because well, the dog's leg was hurt, not by you. They're, they're talking. <laughs> and the cop hangs up on him. It's classic. <laughs> so he's waving down the animal control officer. Trying to see what's going on. This is intense. How much can happen in a 24 hour period? Too. And um, they just said it, you got called for a dog that because I broke up with my ex girlfriend. So you got called. For... No, no, the dog is went back to her mother. Okay. Yeah, I don't even have the dog. That's my dog. Okay. They're talking about the other dog that hurt his leg. So how did Peanut hurt? How did Peanut get their leg hurt again? Of course, I just, I've been having people harass me all day. Okay, so, fine, like, police I and I, the girl just went, I know, but a girlfriend just, I got, I just got the message. But, um, anyway, yeah, it was over a dog named Peanut. Okay. So now he's, again, I don't know what or who the call is for, but he's kind of putting the blame on Peanut. It could have been for Nala, too. We don't know. We, we don't know. Peanut is with Emily Martin, her mother. Peanut is a... As, no, a poodle. Also, it's kind of like... Aaron just leaked um, Melanie's mom's name. So her name is Emily Martin. I don't know if he should have did that in front of like 600 people. A white but, poodle. Miniature poodle. 
That's why I was like, what's going on? Because there's got to be a confusion here. You know what I mean? That's why I was confused. Oh, you're throwing me off, dude. I was like, what? I was like, what are you talking well, about? Well, she, she's saying that well, the, the animal control officer is like, you threw me off because you're recording. Oh, I, I, oh, but, but you didn't specify what dog it was over. That's why I was like, wait. Why didn't even let me get the chance? You were just so offended. Did, did they tell you that it was a poodle? No, I didn't. Her dog. I guess they're, maybe the police officers are filing that up because she's in jail. I have no idea. It was anonymous. I have no idea who you called. Yeah, so okay. Okay, so it's an anonymous call. So obviously it was uh, an instigator, probably someone from somewhere. Okay, so how old is <laughs> I have no idea. It's not my dog. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. Uh, Melanie Martin. So this is this is just getting absolutely bananas. I'm just skipping ahead here. That, that's really rude. Okay, no, no, no. all right. So what do you need from me then? It's just like okay, I heard you. What do you need? Uh, well, it was. I, it was, and I took it that. I know, but it was. Let's move past that. I'm trying to move past that, so I would appreciate that. No, no, no. I know. I, I, I'm trying to get you the what the information you need. So, so basically, she wants like paperwork for Nala too, and he's basically just saying uh, he can't get it for him, for her. Sorry. And she, I think she just knows that he's not going to give it up at the moment. So she's asking him for a phone number. So I don't know. Does, does Aaron actually have the paperwork for Nala? Who knows? Maybe he does and he's just lazy or I don't know. Probably not, though, because isn't wasn't that his mom's dog? So I feel like he wouldn't have it on him, maybe. So. Yeah. So Melanie allegedly shows up. This is crazy. Like th this thumbnail that I just paused on is exactly how everyone's feeling right now. Like, is she going to speak on it? Is she going to go public about it? I don't know. Uh, I it's already blasted on TMZ. Let, let's go look at that really quick uh, before I end this video. So this is like now officially like news news. Aaron Carter girlfriend arrested felony uh felony violence, like crazy. Aaron Carter's girlfriend Melanie Martin is under arrest after police investigated an alleged fight between the couples at the singer's home. TMZ has learned. Law enforcement sources tell TMZ the LA County Sheriff's Department was called to Aaron's Lancaster home around 11 p.m. Sunday night for a. Uh, domestic violence call. We're told there was a verbal spat between Aaron and Melanie, and at some point it got physical. Cops say Aaron had visible marks on his body, and sheriff's deputies determined Melanie was the aggressor and arrested her for felony domestic violence. So, Melanie, according to the law, is the enemy. Like, that's insane. Aaron claims during the alleged physical altercation, Melanie scratched him, and he claims these photos show the damage she did. Cops confirmed Aaron had visible marks when they arrived at the house. According to records, Melanie is still in custody and being held on a $50,000 bail. So this was probably posted before this picture right here. I'm going to put it on the screen. So she is now released on bond. She got released at afternoon. Uh, 12 p.m. on the 30th. On bond, I don't know who bailed her out. Probably her mom. I, I was kind of wondering, like, who can, like, really afford to bail anyone out right now. But who knows? Is What do you guys think? Is Melanie just going to fade into the background? Is she going to speak on this? Is she going to do a press run? It, you know, I, I feel like she might just, like, fade into the background I don't know. She doesn't really seem the type to, like, go and, like, run to, like, the internet or, like, I'm sure she'll vent about it on her social media. I just mean in terms of her, like, coming on to the scene, you know, talking to, like, Catalyst or, like, talking to Gamble or talking to Charles. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think she's going to do that. But I think there definitely is going to be some heat coming in the next Maybe even a couple of hours, <laughs> even, but definitely 
within this week, we're going to be seeing some heat, especially if TMZ is reporting. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and uh, have a good day.